Okay, for our race response for module 12 or 13, it says a restaurant is putting tile in the bathroom in the pattern shown below. If the white tile covers, I don't know why it says in, covers 1.5 square feet, how many tiles will they need? So I can see my white is on the outside. I've got black on the inside. They're both rectangles. So I need to find my white one. I need to find my black one and take the black out. And then I need to see, you know, once I know my white area, how many white I need to cover what the area is. So I can see this white is a rectangle. Base times height is 3.5 times 8. Here is 40. 24 plus 4 is 28, right? One decimal place. 3 times 4, sorry, 3 times 8 is 24. My answer should be about 24, a little bit more, right? So one decimal place close to 24 is 28, not 280, not 2.8, one decimal place. So that whole bathroom is 28 square feet. So now my black part of the tile covers base times height is 5.5 and by 1.5, so there's 25, 25, 26, 27, right? And as an estimate, this is about one by five, so it should be close to five, a little bit more than five. So placeholder, one times five is five, one times five is five. Sat here too long, apparently. So now we've got five and 12, five, six, seven, eight, and two decimal places, right? It should be close to five. Eight is close to five. So I need to take away 8.25 from 28. So I'm lining up decimals here. Can't do that. So there's 10 and oh wait, that's going to turn into nine and then 10, which leaves me five and seven. No, I can't do that. 17 minus eight is nine and one. So my total white area is 19 and 75 hundredths of a square foot. And each white tile covers 1.5. So I'm seeing how many 1.5 tiles can, do I need? So I've got to move my decimal, which is going to move that decimal here. I made that 10 times bigger, so I need to make this one also 10 times bigger. Then, all right, it goes in there one time, and there's 15, which is four left over. It goes in there three times, and two left over, which is one time, and 15, that's 10 left over, bring down a zero. Okay, so right, it's going to keep on going. So I need 13 tiles and a little bit more. It really does not matter what that is to answer my question. So my race response. So R, A, C, E. That's what I need to know. I need to restate the question. I need to answer the question. I need to cite, right? That's how, what from the problem helps me know what to do. I'm telling them how did I know what to do. And then my evidence, well, that's all my work. I have all of that. I showed them what to do. So my E's done. Say, it, okay. So that's the nice thing about math. If I just already did my work and I know the answer, my E's done. Okay. So restating the problem with the question, which was how many white tiles will they need? So to cover the white area, shrink that. So to cover the white area with tile, they will need, so here's my answer, right? If I only get 13 tiles, that's not enough. And if I get 13.1, whatever that is, like nobody at the store is going to be like, yes, you can buy 0.1 of a tile. Hey, that's not going to happen, right? I'm just going to have to buy an extra tile. So I will need 14 tiles. So to solve this problem. So I'm, I'm citing what I did. I had to find the area of the white, the area of the black, and then find the difference 
I knew to find the area because, right, so up here, it was giving me my answer in square feet. That's a that's area, square feet, because, oh my goodness, I can't spell because, it gave the tile measurements in square feet, which is area, okay? So once I knew the square feet of the white tile, I divided by 1.5 because that is how much area a white tile can cover. I also had to add an extra tile to have enough. Okay, so I went through and just explained what I did there. So R is easy, right? Restate the question. A, answer the question. C, you are just exciting. How did you know what to do? Tell them what you did. E, that's your proof, your evidence of what you did. Let's go ahead and try one of these out using the race response.